in Finland you're left to be yourself. I could be very much myself. There seems to be not very strict way of seeing how something is. This is something I experienced in school, but also outside of school. And that's something I enjoy a lot about Finland. I think a lot about what do I start with when I start painting. And I think often it's an image I have in my head. So that could be maybe like a type of brush mark or a, or a color or just something to get started. As as I start painting, the, the painting kind of develops. And I think that's something I'm interested in, in kind of the this continuation, this like, it's like watching a film I haven't seen before. Well, I hope that the viewer can make its own relationships with the things I make. When I make something, there is a very personal relationship to it, but someone viewing this or seeing that would have then a different way of experiencing that. And for me, this, what it makes someone feel is, is something that I find important as well. I was doing a bachelor in Scotland before I came to Finland. I had graduated and I was wanted to do a master's. I had a few friends who had been to Kuva and they have done an exchange and all of my friends were very impressed and they, they had a really, really good time. So I heard a lot of good things about Kuva. And when I started reading about the program, it felt very much how I felt about painting, how I felt about art. I feel one of the most important things I've taken from art school is the people I met through art school, um, friends I've made, and I think also the conversation and the, the kind of dialogue that comes through those friendships are something that kind of keep me going. And I think there's also a good connection to what is happening in the city, so the talks and exhibitions, and um, I think it's also something that continues after graduating. I'm happy about the freedom that I had in Kuva. I got interested in woodwork or things like bronze casting because I had the possibility to do that. Between the painting and the woodwork, it's a very different way of working for me. Woodwork somehow there's rights and wrongs in a way that if something isn't attached well, it's wobbly and that's that's not right. In painting, these like right and wrong is not so clear or, or doesn't exist. In the woodworking, uh, there are certain things that I want to do as good as I can do them, or at the highest kind of quality, which in painting somehow might be different. Yes, I think I have learned a lot since starting in Cuba, and I think through learning and through seeing a lot of new work, new artists, new, new literature that we got introduced to, or a lot of these things have kind of shaped who I am as an artist, but also as a person today. So I would say it's been a very important experience. <laughs>